give a huge thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this video. You guys know that I've been using their language course to use Portuguese for the past few months now and I find it the most effective and easy way to learn and honestly fun like I want to do these lessons it's not like something like I have to do you know I'm not ever forcing myself so yeah I've just always wanted to learn Portuguese because I am Portuguese so now that I'm actually learning it it's so cool because I've always wanted to so on Babbel's app they have super short 10 minute interactive lessons all the lessons are designed by real language teachers it's not like robots or anything and they have so many ways to learn on the app they have like lessons podcasts games and they also have a 20 day money back guaranteed so if you try it out and you don't like it then you will get a refund so since it's summer now obviously more people are going on vacation and now is honestly the perfect time to start learning a new language because if you're going somewhere where they don't speak the language you speak it would be cool to kind of try to adapt and learn the language there I'm gonna show you guys my flashcards that I'm reviewing from the app because for me, I just love going through the flashcards like after the lessons to really get it in my brain. Honestly, I learn really well from flashcards as well. So, okay, thank you, mail. Obrigado. Obrigado. Mm, sorry. Desculpa. Desculpa. Oi. Oi. So a couple phrases in Portuguese that I've learned um, that would be really helpful for traveling even. First one, on je vous se mora. Portuguese speakers, sorry if this sounds a little botched, I'm still learning. <laughs> but that means where do you live? Mai je vergad por favor. That means slower please. So sorry if I'm botching this again, <laughs> but I think I'm doing pretty good. Como você se chama means what is your name? So yeah, I've definitely learned a few little phrases and words here and there. I'm not fluent yet. But I'm gonna get there. But yeah, literally everything is so clear and laid out for you on the app and it's so convenient because you can just do everything from your phone. So it makes it so easy to learn and so motivating. And so yeah, if you guys wanna sign up with Babbel and start learning a new language, maybe for the summer, your vacations or whenever, you can use the link in my description and get 65% off, which is so good. So yeah, thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring. I'm so happy that I'm actually learning Portuguese so exciting to me and i hope you guys can do the same but yeah so don't forget to click the link in my description for 65 percent off good morning you guys it is currently 7 30. i was just editing for a while and just catching up on some emails and everything so that's why it's not like super early because i wanted to give myself something else to do rather than come to the gym first thing in the morning because i just don't like working out too early or else i'll feel nauseous it's really weird but anyways the weather was really disappointing i'm just wearing sunglasses because i like how they cover my face right now so i was really hoping for a nice sunny day to wake up to but it was literally raining this morning anyways we're gonna take this matcha shot to give me some energy for the gym i did a 6 a.m day in my life and you guys really liked it so that's why i'm doing this five o'clock one um, because you guys seem to like it and it's kind of fun. Normally I always just wake up like at 8, 8 o'clock to 8.30 so it's kind of nice switching things up and just doing it kind of out of my own will instead of being forced to wake up this early just to kind of see like what the day can bring on if I wake up earlier and just kind of test it out for fun. So here's a 5 a.m. day in my life. Cheers to that. So, 
I just got back from my workout and I decided that I wanted to do a little produce grocery shop and also Brittany and Lexi wanted to come on a little walk so we decided to walk here it's like a little kind of like a, it's a far, local farmers market in here so we're just gonna get some produce do some grocery shopping because I want to make some juice today it's only 11 o'clock like almost 11 and I've done so much shit today like I've gone to the gym I did my work I did my emails I ate breakfast and usually by this time I'm like just getting to the gym probably so and I'm not that tired yet like it's fine I just uh, rolled out of bed um, I was wearing these clothes and now we're here <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was, up, I was up five hours ago. Miguel was like, I was up at 5 a.m. with all the stuff I got done, and I'm over here like, my dreams were pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Okay, so here's my super mini grocery haul. I just got carrots because I'm gonna juice today, Swiss chard because I'm gonna juice, and then I got some apples for the juicing too. I just got some kiwis because I wanted just like some kiwis. I haven't had them in a while. And then I got salt and vinegar pistachios, which I wanna try this with you guys right now. And then just smart sweets. Okay, so the main reason why I got these is because I think it was on Emma Chamberlain's podcast. She was raving about salt and vinegar pistachios. And she's like, if you guys have never tried them, Go and get them so i saw them when we were out and i was like i need to get these to try them so she influenced me to try them and i love pistachios and i love salt and vinegar so i feel like i'm gonna love them but i just want to try oh my god they smell so good they're so good mm, 10 out of 10 would recommend apparently i'm pretty sure pistachios are really good for like your brain health or something like that Okay, so I'm in the process of making egg bites right now and I just wanted to quickly show you how I do it. It's so easy and they're so good. So basically I just cut up vegetables of choice and then I have cheese as well. So what I do is I just put the, you'll see in a second, but I just put like the toppings or the filling in each muffin tin. And then that's all you have to do and then just pour over the egg and that's it. It's so easy and simple and then you just bake them at 350 for 20 minutes so yeah i'm just gonna do that right now you guys will see so this is how they look and now i'm just going to literally pop them in the oven for 20 minutes at 350. 
So here's how the egg bites turned out. They're so freaking good and they're so easy to make. And you can just keep them in the fridge if you wanna like keep some for later. But yeah, I just like to dip it in hot sauce and it's so good. having like this weird pain in my eye on like this side on the left and I'm like do I have a sty and then I was like looking at my eye yesterday and I didn't see a sty and then I looked today and I see one so I got a sty in this eye and it like hurts it's not like horrible but it kind of like hurts to blink and it's been bothering me so I've never had a sty before fun fact but like a lot of people that I know have had one before like I think they're I know they're really common so I'm just going to take off my makeup and I'm going to put some hot compress on it because apparently that helps or like a tea bag. I don't really have like green tea because I think that's the one you're supposed to put on because I don't want to put like um, the tea that I have on it because I feel like that would intoxicate my eye since green tea is just like plain herbal tea. But yeah, I'm definitely just going to take off my makeup now. It is currently 517. I've been awake for 12 hours officially and it feels like this day is forever to be honest i got so so much done today i'm honestly so proud of myself i still have some editing to do to be honest this sponsorship that i'm inserting um in another vlog and then send that off to the brand so i still need to do that today but honestly i'm so happy that i woke up early and i haven't really crashed i mean in the morning i was feeling pretty tired at some point but like i didn't i didn't take a nap today i swear like i'm not lying <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I honestly feel fine right now. Like, I don't feel tired whatsoever. The coffee probably helped, but yeah, I don't feel tired, and I did so much today. And you know those days where you just get a lot of shit done and you feel accomplished? That is today, and I feel so good. So I feel like on days where I need to get a lot of shit done, waking up early is very beneficial for me because then I get, like, my morning routine, I get the gym done and all that kind of stuff. I get it done by the morning so that I still have like the whole afternoon and evening to do my work and it just gives me so much more time in the day and it feels so good to be honest like it makes me feel so productive obviously this isn't gonna happen every single day because I do love my sleep but like I said if I ever want like feel like I need the extra time in the day I wouldn't mind doing this again because it's different if like you're forced to wake up at this time but like since it's like for out of my own will it kind of makes it easier to wake up you know because I'm doing something I love and I like I love doing YouTube and stuff so as long as it's something that I'm waking up for that I love I have no problem but yeah this is such a fun video but yeah I'm just gonna wash my face down to be honest and then put some hot, hot compress on and just finishing finish my editing for the night <laughs> 